Hi everyone, CNX of here. This is Mini X Neo U1 uh, Android Media Hub interface. And in this video, I will focus on video audio with Kodi. So, first, I go through some settings you may have to change to use Kodi. First, you'll have to select your display resolution. I selected 4K 60Hz for my uh, LG television and then audio you'll have to select the digital sounds PCM if you're just using your TV speakers or external uh, speakers HDMI for HDMI pass-through and SPDIF for optical audio to your AV receiver in the playback settings here you have HDMI self adaptation. This will uh, change the display resolution automatically based on your video source. And this uh, different word to say automatic frame rate switching. Okay, so that's for the setting here. And now we can start Kodi. They have two Kodi installed. Actually, they have one Kodi installed in the firmware. This is Kodi 16 Alpha. But they recommend to install their own version of XB XBMC Kodi that they called 15.3. So this is the one I will use here. So if we go in System Info, we can see this is XBMC 15.3 compiled December 8, just about four days ago and the video output is 4K at 60 Hz. So I'm going to change uh, video the video. Ah, yeah. First, in playback you want to adjust the refresh rate to on and start. Just on start stop to have the most smooth video. And after you go to system, audio output and if you want to enable heavy pass through with your receiver, no. Uh, you enable pass through AC3, EAC3, DTS, and True HD. There also there is also a DTS HD option, but do not use it right now because it's not implemented yet and it will not work. Okay, so let's play videos right now. I will focus on the 4K videos, samples, first, and after I'll switch to some audio samples. This one is H.265 at 60Hz. And you can, at 30Hz, and you can see my TV change to 30Hz. And it's playing pretty well. Okay, now H.264 at 30 frames per second. Let's double check the video output. 30 Hz on the top right corner. And the video is playing perfectly. Now 60 frames per second. It looks okay, but there are some video uh, audio sync problem or audio delays because MLogic does not support 60 frames per second for H.264. Okay, the next one is a H.265 video uh, compliant with REC 2020 uh, standard. And the video is 60 Hz, I mean, the video output is 60 Hz, and the video itself is 59.94. 
and it's playing very well. AMLogic S905 is the only platform that can play this. Now H.265 at 60 frames per second. That's just perfect. No complaint. It's playing perfectly well. I have to skip that one. Okay. Now is this one is a 10-bit H.265 video. And again it's playing very well. There is no audio because there is no audio in the original file. Uh, VP9 will not play perfectly. Now I will show you another 10-bit H.265 video that has some issues. I'm playing from a Samba share but if I play from USB I will have the same issue. Uh, you see at the top I'm not sure if you can see actually, but at the top you can see buffering 86% and it will stuck there forever. From network or from USB, it's the same problem. So it's working pretty well for videos, but there are still some issues. For example, this one is a DVB uh, S2 4K stream. And it's playing okay but this morning I had some issues I don't know why this morning it would play zoomed in and video is working I mean audio is working okay Just the volume is a little bit low. Okay. Now I will check some audio pass through. Five point five. Uh, I will not show the TV, but on the Ivory Civil, it's Dolby D 5.1. I have to adjust the volume lower. Okay, uh, now I go to True HD 7.1. Here we can see True HD 7.1 input. Uh, 5.1 is working as well. Atmos. Uh, okay, so let's try Dolby Atmos. And there is audio, and it shows Dolby True HD 7.1 B. So I don't know. If that means that's okay, but at least it's 7.1 channels. Uh, I will also play DTS HD. You remember it's not enabled because it's not working yet. But there will be some audio as the signal is passed. is DTS 5.1 instead.
so not everything is perfect but I'm quite happy with the result so far so I think I can definitely recommend uh, Mini X Neo U1 as a Kodi player and I also recommend this device this uh, Neo A2 Lite air mouse with a QWERTY keyboard and it will make it much easier to navigate uh, Android on input text in Android or Kodi it's only $20 more for this one and I really recommend it, this is very good alright, thank you for watching, bye bye